Shalom family, welcome to today. The verse I have for you is Proverbs 13, 3, and it says, He who guards his mouth preserves his life, but he who talks too much comes to ruin. So when I read this and I see he who guards his mouth, I think the best way we can guard our mouth is to put some space between our thoughts and our words. And I feel like we can simply do this by always taking a mindful breath before we respond. Just a, we talked about how Yahweh's name is breathing sounds. So just be focused on that and calling him into any situation where we're called to respond. A ruach. Ruach is um, the spirit, the breath. Um, so yeah, we invite God with that breath into every moment. And, you know, the best way to make a habit of it is not to just wait to do it in those stressful moments, um, but to make a habit of it for everything from people asking, how are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing really well. You know, this is what's going on. Um, or somebody asking, you know, what's your coffee order in the morning? And just, and it might seem silly, but it's that willingness when we invite God into any situation. Um, God works through our willingness to work with him. And I heard this acronym for THINK, you know, you probably heard, you know, THINK before you speak. And the acronym, I forget if it was Christian or not, but it was like the T was ask yourself, is this true? Ask yourself if this is helpful. Ask yourself if this is um, inspiring. Ask yourself if this is necessary and ask yourself if this is kind. And I think that's a lot of things to ask yourself <laughs> before you respond in every situation. But I think as long as you're inviting the spirit into every situation, um, those things will be covered. And I also want to just add to this that even if the spirit is in what you say and how you say something, that doesn't necessarily mean that a person is going to react um, in the spirit or their reaction is going to reflect, um, you know, it, it doesn't mean it's going to work out the way you want it to. And you might get a really bad reaction, even if, you know, what you say is true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, kind, you know? So, um, just be aware of that. And yeah, I just encourage you today. And that my prayer for you today is that you guard your mouth and may everything that comes out of it lead to the Lord and glorify the Lord. I love you all. Have a blessed day. Shalom.